Hello. Archiving and unarchiving are the two most fundamental, yet the most essential features of ADS. While working, we occasionally need to share our design with a friend or colleague. Or sometimes, to debug a design problem, we may need to share the workspace with an expert. This can be accomplished by using ADS archiving feature. Through this video, we will try to understand the different aspects of ADS archiving and unarchiving processes. So let's start. We have this workspace which consists of two different cells and each of the cell has different design into it. Suppose we want to share the complete workspace containing all the designs. For that, go to File option, click on Archive Workspace. You can see your complete workspace has been selected consisting of different libraries, data displays, data sets, etc. Now, if the design involves any external vendor library, then we need to add that while archiving. This is necessary so that the person who will receive this file should not get any error while unarchiving it. To add the vendor library, choose the option Reference Libraries and Files and then click on Select. You can see the external vendor library has been added up. Go to Next. If your design consists of some electromagnetic simulation results into it, this option will be selected. You can deselect it just to reduce the size of the archive file. To save the archive file, click on Browse option and then go to the desired location where you want to save that file. Please check that any such ADS workspace has an extension of .7zads. Now click on Save and then Finish. You will get notified that the file has been successfully archived at that desired location. Click on OK. Now there is one another possibility where we don't want to share the complete workspace containing all the designs. Rather, we are interested to send only one design among all. For that, go to that particular cell, right click on that and then select Archive Cell option. You can see only that cell has been selected. Now what we did earlier, if your design consists of any external vendor library, you can add that while clicking on Reference Cells, Substrates and File option and then click Select. Then go to Next and then you can save the file at the desired location. Click on Save and then Finish. You will get notified that the file has been successfully archived at the desired location. Click on OK. You can even go to one more step down further by sharing only the view of that particular cell. For that, right click on that view, click on archive view option and then follow the same step what we did previously. Now coming to the unarchiving, for that go to file option, click on unarchive and then open the archive file from the desired location. Go to next, next, next and finish. You will get notified that the file has been unarchived successfully. Thank you.